fact, Russell and I were going to do a seminar in May. We had to postpone it because of the COVID virus. Uh, yeah. but we, we had a, a, a seminar scheduled this May. And Russell's the kind of guy you can come up to, you know, a bodybuilder and just go like that on his ribs and have him drop like a sack of potatoes. I mean, the pressure points are fantastic. And, and it, it the, the application is, it's, it's the best martial arts. You get more in a weekend. We, and this is not me saying this, this is our, our students saying this, they come to a seminar and they get more in a weekend than they do in three years at a dojo. Uh, they do. It's, it's, it, it, it's, it's hitting, it, it, it hits a nail in the head, just boom. And, and that's, that's, that's what we want. We want to be effective. We want to be effective and, and, right on point and, and get the result that we're looking for. And so I'm really looking forward to rescheduling. Once this crap is over, I'm looking forward to rescheduling yeah. our event for the fall. Can't wait. Can't wait. And hopefully yeah. I might get a refund on all of my flights that I booked. Because not <laughs> one of them beep beep airlines has given me a refund. In fact, the only refund I got was where they sent me the insurance money back when I paid for insurance in case a flight gets canceled. Oh they, my goodness. They said because coronavirus is such a unmitigated blah blah blah, we've refunded your you your insurance payment. Oh wow! <laughs> what? That's what I paid for, right? So, yeah, you know, and I'm still this one hotel that hasn't given me the money back. Even that, I'm going. I was going there for the police and FBI. I'm sorry to moan. I'll get right into pressure point. They they haven't. They, I'm the only one they haven't given the money back to. The only one out of everybody who was going to be there. Huh. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm having a big argument with him at the moment. But huh. anyway, sorry yeah. about that. Okay. So there was a, a couple of questions as well. Um, right. For self defense, right? What, what martial art do you recommend? Well, this is pretty generic. What martial art do you recommend for self defense? Well, boxing and uh, judo, I suppose. If you're going to have to pick one or two just to do boxing and judo. Um, yeah, 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 exactly. Maybe some crab, you know, the crab is pretty, pretty good. But, but ultimately uh, pressure points is because it makes it easier. Yeah. Um, yeah, it makes it easier when you, when you're, when you're effective, you could, you could go to a punching bag or go to a person and, and box away, fight away. But if you know a pressure point, then you can just nail it. Boom and end it quickly. It just makes things, it quickly. I, just I make things a little bit easier. I don't, yeah, exactly. I don't want to dance around or, or, or trade blows with someone younger, stronger, more uh, um, more fit than I am, or younger, stronger, and, and more aggressive. I'd rather just end it quickly. Yeah, and cheat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's hack. It's yeah. hack. Pressure points are, are hat uh, is is fight hacking it's self-defense hacking it's the hack of it yeah it's, the, it's cheating it's cheating without them knowing right <laughs> exactly exactly which we do quite a lot we do quite a lot of that it's always good to cheat on something like that anyway uh -huh. we always enjoy that uh there's a couple of other questions as well um you know ones that again pretty generic what's your favorite martial art what's your favorite move um, what's your favorite target? So for, this is for both of us. I've covered a bit of this already. So Scott, favorite martial art, favorite move, favorite target. What would you use? Mm, favorite martial art. Well, I'm a proponent of Jeet Kune Do. I was trained. Yeah. I, I was going to say I was raised. I was trained by Dan Lee, uh, Bruce Lee's first Chinatown Los Angeles student. Dan Lee was my teacher. I passed away in December of uh, 2015. I, I really miss him. Uh, he, I learned so much from him. It's incredible. So, so I'm a proponent of, of Bruce Lee's fighting art, if you will. And although he didn't like to use the term style or system, that that's that's my primary or my foundational art. Although although I've trained in many others, that would be the the foundation. Uh, as far as my my favorite, did you say favorite move or favorite technique? Yeah. Yeah, favorite uh, move, favorite technique. Uh -huh. I, I like the elbow. See how it just yeah. bam, just go bam. Yeah, like it's quick, like, quick and easy. Quick and easy, bam. And the, the torque into it, uh, the torque yeah. into the elbow, 
uh, the elbow is is very it's very quick it's very subtle it's, it's lightning fast you got, so, you've been doing a couple there have you got a cut on that one yeah yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> bruised up uh, uh, but all in good fun um, but that's the one that's the one I like the best would probably be the elbow the elbow to the in in the tie bag and yeah that 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 uh that it, it just boom it's there quickly and, and an elbow to the throat or an elbow to the face is it's like rebar right here the elbow is very strong uh very strong even even tyson broke his hand punching someone i remember yeah. years ago mike tyson broke his broke his hand the fingers when you think about the fingers there's not a lot of skin fat or muscle on the fingers yeah. and neither is there on the elbow the elbow is harder stronger bigger um, so it's it's almost like a little mini baseball bat. So I I prefer I I would say if that was my favorite, that would be the one. Yeah, I couldn't disagree with that one. Um, just a little horror story. I put a hole in some guy's head with an elbow a few years back. Yeah, yeah, it was self defense thing, but just okay. one elbow, put a hole in his head. So the, <laughs> the elbow is is pretty pretty strong technique. So yeah, very very. Very, very careful with it. We always say don't aim for the head because it's superfluous, <laughs> but I didn't have much of a choice on that one. But um, yeah, so yeah. So again, I go along with uh, the elbow is a pretty good place to go to use and a uh, pretty good technique and very powerful. We, we actually teach elbows before, if somebody's new to us, we mm -hmm. teach elbows first and then we teach them how to hook and punch. Mm -hmm. nice. To me, an elbow is a short punch and then the punch comes after. And by that same theory and practical thing, we teach knees before we teach kicks. Because if you can knee correctly, then, then the kick should follow. So that's just a, a little aside. But um, no, very, very good because most people will overlook that. Most trainers overlook that. And they need to start there because that's actually first and quicker. Well, yeah. uh, Bruce Lee talked about economy of motion, nearest weapon to the nearest target. So realizing that the knees and the elbows are there first, they're actually there first. Even when you punch it, this this motion is quicker, and yeah, yeah. that's that's fantastic that you guys actually teach yeah. that first. Right? We, that. We, we like elbows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, you, you can never get enough elbows. 